Uh, hi, welcome back to the series of questions about energy conversion devices. And here, our fourth question about transformers. So in this question, it is a 30 kVA transformer. So this is the rated S. This is the maximum amount of power that we can transfer through the transformer. It's a step down distribution transformer. So it's step down the voltage from 8,000 to 230 volt. It has an impedance referred to the primary. This is the winding impedance, two plus J100. Now it's referred to the primary. And the excitation branch is also referred to the primary, which is your RC and XM. So here both the winding impedance and the core impedance both refer to the primary. So we don't need to do any sort of conversion. Now it says here if the primary voltage VB is equal to 7967. So the, if the voltage that we energize the transformer is 7967 volt. So it's not actually the 8000 volt. It's a bit less than that. And we have the load here, ZL, that is connected to the secondary side, of course, is equal to 2 plus J.7. What is the secondary voltage of the transformer? So we want to find Vs. Now, because everything referred to the primary, we have to refer, the, I mean, we have to use this model. So it's Is over A and AVS. But at the end of the day, I want to find Vs, the secondary, the secondary voltage. Now, since ZL is connected to the what? To the secondary side. So basically, I have to multiply this with A squared to refer it to the primary. So I need to find first A, which is the 8,000 divided by the 230 volt. And this is equal to 34.78. So from this, I can find A squared ZL which is 34.78 square times 2 plus J.7. And this will give me a total value equal to 2419 plus J847 ohm. So this is now the uh, impedance referred to the primary side everything referred to the primary side. Now, unlike the previous questions, we know the voltage at the secondary. Now we know the voltage at the primary. So these two impedances, the winding impedance and A squared ZL, they are in series. So I can find your IS over A equal to your VP divided by the summation of these two impedances, R equivalent plus J x equivalent both refer to the primary side plus the a square z l this is equal to 7967 angle of zero now this becomes our reference so this is the given voltage to us so everything will be referred to the primary equal to 20 plus j100 this is your r equivalent plus Gx equivalent, plus A squared ZL, which is 2419 plus J847. Now, when you do the calculation, the current is equal to 3.045 angle of minus 21.2 amps. So this is your IS over A. From this, I can find the voltage at the secondary AVS which is equal to your IS over A times the A square ZL. And this is equal to 3.045 angle of minus 21.2 times the impedance A square ZL, which is this. 2419 plus J847. And this will give me an AVS equal to 7804 angle of minus 1.9 volt. So this is the voltage at the secondary, but this is AVS. If I want to find only the secondary voltage, VS is equal to this voltage divided by A. 7804 angle of minus 1.9 divided by the, tra tra uh, the transformer turns ratio, 34.78. And this will give me a total voltage equal to 224.4 angle of minus 1.1.
1.9. So this is your secondary voltage if the transformer was energized by, by the 7960-67. What is the voltage regulation? So the voltage regulation will equal to the no load voltage, which is the 7967, minus the full load voltage, which is the 7804, divided by the 7804, everything times 100. And this will give me a 2.09%. Okay, so this is part A. Part B, if the load is disconnected, so this load is removed. And instead, we have a capacitor with a value equal to minus J3. What is the secondary voltage of the transformer? And what is the voltage regulation in this case? So now, instead of Z, we will have what? A capacitor connected here with a value minus J3. Again, this minus J3, I have to convert it, refer to, I have to refer it to the primary. How to do that? I need to multiply this by A squared. So refer to the primary, we will have an A square 34.78 square times minus J3, and this will give me a minus J of total uh, value of 3629 ohm. So this is your load as capacitive load connected, connected there. Okay, now I will repeat the same thing. So IS over A is equal to the V primary, which is the 7967 angle of zero divided by the R equivalent plus JX equivalent, which we already know it, 20 plus J100, plus the impedance of the capacitor, which is plus minus J3629. And if you do that, you will find that the current is equal to 2.2. 258 angle of plus 89.7 so almost leading by 90 degree because the capacitive element is dominant so as if you are connecting your transformer to uh, the whole thing is just pure capacitor the resistive and the plus is much much less than this so it is predominant uh, a capacitive load so this is why the angle is leading by around 90 degree the real part is much less than the, the imaginary uh, negative part okay so for the, from this you will find your uh, a vs which is equal to the current which is 2.258 angle of 89.7 and this current will be equal to the minus J3629, and this will give me a total voltage A194, angle of minus 0.3. So from this, my Vs equal to this voltage, A194, angle of minus 0.3, divided by the turns ratio, which is 34.78, and this will give me 256.3 and the angle stays the same. What is the voltage regulation? Very straightforward. V no load minus V full load over V full load. So the V, v no load is this the same. V7967 minus the full load voltage A194 divided by A194 times 100 and this will give me minus 10.6 percent as expected with a capacitive load you have or a leading power factor load you will have a negative voltage regulation 